If you want to become a successful civil engineer, subscribe to our channel. For instant updates, press the bell icon. Hello friends, today in this tutorial we are going to see how to calculate reinforcement for flow column. Okay, so for calculating reinforcement or steel or for preparing barbending schedule for flow column, first we have to understand the drawing. So on the screen, if you see here, we have a section drawing of flow column. So if you see, we have from ground floor to first floor height, we have 3000 mm means 3 meter. Okay, now if you see, this is the flow column. We have your stirrups, main bars. Okay, now this is our beam. Okay, now this is the 50D for overlapping means when your column from first floor to second floor it will go you have to attach reinforcement so for that we are taking overlapping and this value 2543 mm this is the actual height or actual length of flow column means while we are calculating number of stirrups we use this value okay now we will see the uh, details of stirrups so uh, this is your flow column breadth and this is your depth okay now if you see here uh, we, I am taking here cover 40 mm okay so if I am subtracting 40 mm here and from here in to uh, 300 then I will get 220 mm then in from 450 I will subtract 40 mm here and 40 mm here so I will get here 370 mm now if you see here we have 6 main bars with 12 mm diameter okay and stir up we have 8 mm and at the rate 100 mm spacing center to center okay now our drawing has been cleared now we'll start our calculation so this is our calculation part first we'll calculate the main bars okay so if you see here this is our main bar calculation we have general overlapping for the 50 d now we'll start with the main bars so length of main bar is equals to l plus 50 d okay L here is the column height or column or length okay so how much we have 3 meter means 3000 mm we have no that length I'm talking about this is the length 3000 meter mm what I'm talking about and plus 50 D means uh, this is for the overlapping part which we have taken above first flow D is your diameter okay so diameter is 12 so I'll write here 0 0.012 because we are taking values in meters and our diameter is in mm. So when we calculate the value, we'll get the length of main bar 3.6 meters. Okay. So uh, we are getting the value, the length of main bar as 3.6 meters. Now we'll see number of main bars. Number of main bars already we have in the drawing 6. It's already given in the drawing here. Okay so no need to know nothing to calculate in that now we'll calculate the total length of main bars so for the total length of main bar formula we have length of main bar into number of main bars so length is here 3.6 and numbers is 6 so 3.6 into 6 will get the total length of main bar as 21.6 meter now the diameter of main bar the diameter of main bar we have here 12 mm already given in the drawing okay T12 means 12 mm diameter. Now weight per meter of main bar. D, the formula is d square by 162 kg per meter. D is diameter which is 12. So 12 into 12 divided by 162 kg per meter. So after calculating this formula, we will get weight per meter of main bar as 0 0.88 kg per meter. Now by using these values, we have to calculate the total weight of main bar. So the formula is total length into weight per meter. So total length we have here. 21.6 okay then weight per meter we have 0 0.88 so i'll multiply 21.6 into 0 0.88 kgs so i'll get the total weight of main bar as 19 kgs so by this we complete our main bar calculation guys okay uh, now we'll calculate the stirrup so st uh, stirrup length we have here 0 0.22 meter and uh, breadth we can take it as 0 0.37 Okay, now length of stirrup bar formula is L plus B into 2 plus 90 plus 90. So L plus B into 2, this is the length. Then this 90 plus 90, these are two hooks. Okay, if you see the drawing, you can understand this is the one length. Okay, now this is we are taking as breadth. So length, breadth, length, breadth, four sides. So four side length formula L plus B into 2. Now plus 90 plus 90 means uh, these are some hooks. Two hooks we have to take. This is one hook, this is one hook. 90, 90. So the formula is L plus B into 2 
प्लस नाइनटी प्लस नाइनटी सो जीरो पॉइंट टू टू प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सेवन इंटू टू प्लस नाइन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट प्लस नाइन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट वाई वी आर टेकिंग जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट मीन्स द डाया मीटर वॉज इन एम एम सो वी आर कन्वर्टिंग इन टू मीटर इफ यू कैलकुलेट द फॉर्मुला विल गेट देंथ ऑफ स्टेप बार एज वन पॉइंट थ्री टू फोर मीटर ओके नो वील कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ स्टेप बार so for number of stirrup bars we have formula here actual length of flow column by spacing plus 1 we can write it as actual length or we can call it as actual height whatever we want to call it we can call but just we have to take the value means the value in which we are assigning the stirrup so we are taking in 2543 mm means this value i have shown in i have shown you in the starting 2543 mm this is our actual length of flow column because the stirrups are from that till that point only now if you substitute the value in the formula 2.543 meter divided by 0.1 plus 1 so 0.1 is our spacing means 100 mm spacing which we are getting from this drawing 100 mm center to center so 100 mm i am writing as 0.1 meter okay now number of stirrup bars 2.543 divided by 0.1 spacing plus 1 so we'll get the number of stirrup bars 26.43 bars approximately i will write it as 27 bars okay now we got length of stirrup bars number of stirrup bars now we'll find out the total length of stirrup bars okay so for that first we have to see the length of bar into number of bars so length of bar is 1.324 number of bars 27 then after multiplying this we'll get 35.74 total length of stirrup bars now we have to see the diameter the diameter of stirrup bar we have here 8 mm already given in the drawing okay now for this dia we find out we'll find out weight per meter so formula is d square by 162 kg per meter d here we have diameter 8 mm so 8 square by 162 so weight per meter of stirrup bar we'll get 0.39 kg per meter right now we have to find out the total weight of stirrup bar so total weight of stirrup bar total weight formula is total length into weight per meter total length we have here 35.74 okay so uh, weight per meter is 0.39 so 35.74 multiplied by 0.39 will get 13.93 kg okay the total weight of stirrup bar so by this we complete the process of stirrups calculating the stirrups now quickly we'll take the recap so if you see here this is your total length of main bar 21.6 meter total weight of main bar 19 kg then total length of stirrup bar 35.74 then we have to see the total weight of stirrup bar which is 13.93 kg okay friends so by this we complete the bar bending schedule or reinforcement calculation of flow column if you still have any doubts you can write us in the comment section definitely we'll go and reply you as soon as possible if you like our video please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends don't keep it with yourself please subscribe okay thank you very much for your support we are already started drawing thank you once again